Well, today's beautiful weather is a sign that spring is on the way, but the mild and dry weather we're seeing now likely won't last. NBC4 meteorologist Ben Gelber spoke to some OSU researchers who are helping farmers get ready for planting around some heavier spring showers. Ben? Yeah, Kyle, the top industry in Ohio is food and agriculture, providing $125 billion to the state's economy, which is why farmers are using innovative techniques to improve yields while coping with too much or too little rain. This type of natural topography is very common throughout Ohio. Farmers know that field drainage becomes critical even before the start of growing season. The most important factor in optimizing crop yields is proper water management. So Ben, this is kind of what farmers are dealing with as the fields are getting wetter, it's getting harder for them to plant get their crop in the ground and do all the other management factors they need to. The result is delays in planting and applying fertilizers, which can be costly. How crops are responding to cold temperatures and wet conditions early on is going to be really important when we're understanding how yields are going to be affected at the end of the year. The biggest challenge in crop production is the combination of too much rain in the spring and then not enough moisture when the summer is hot and dry for weeks at a time. The goal of an Ohio State agricultural project in Finley is to reduce the amount of water leaving the fields by adding a water table control structure at the outlet of the drainage tile system. What this structure does is it helps us raise the water in the field, not let all the water go, but conserve some of that moisture in the soil so that it can be utilized for crops, in, especially in the summertime when things get dry. In a wet spring, water is drained a few weeks before planting season, which improves quality downstream by reducing the transport of nutrients. We are able to see uh, some benefit or improvement in the crop yields. In dry years, when you need the water most, we have been able to see 10 to 12 percent uh, yield benefit to corn.